What's up guys, Sebastian here and welcome to this training. And today I want to talk about uh, if Facebook is Facebook getting saturated, is it getting too competitive? How do you deal with those things? And just talk about that. You know, uh, a lot of people have been asking questions on Facebook groups, on YouTube comments, everywhere, asking about like, what can I do if the Facebook ad costs are going through the roof? What can I do if I get into a very competitive niche? How can I lower my costs and start generating sales? And all of these are valid questions, but I want to explain kind of like the, the whole situation and how you should approach it. So is Facebook ads getting more expensive and saturated? Yes, it's getting more competitive, more saturated, more expensive over time, right? So if you see a graph of how you know competitive it has uh, gotten or how saturated it has become, you'll probably see a graph that goes like this, right? And the reason that happens is because, you know, people are realizing how powerful social media is. They're seeing that the attention is no longer on banner ads on the street. They're seeing that the attention is in people's smartphones, in their screens. So they're seeing the power of running paid advertisement. So as this, you know, awareness starts to increase, the business starts to start to allocate more of their marketing budget to Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, places where, where the attention is at, right? So it makes sense that it gets more expensive. So, but the good news for you is that that doesn't mean that there is no room for you to make money. There is, it doesn't mean that there is no room for you to make millions of dollars in the internet. In fact, there's more opportunity than ever because if there's competition, if there's saturation, it means that money, money can be made and a lot of it. So here's the thing for people that are posting on Facebook groups and saying that Facebook is too expensive, that what's the least saturated niche. My answer is this. The reason it's being expensive for you, it's not profitable for you. It's saturated for you is because you don't have the right product. You don't have a killer photo or video that displays that product and you're not you don't have a creative marketing angle so if you go for instance in the bodybuilding niche i have a business that's into the fitness niche into the bodybuilding niche if i go into that niche which by the way is one of the most competitive niches out there and i post a photo that's like a six out of ten in terms of how good it is if i post a photo that's a six then I'm going to experience massive uh, saturation, competition, high costs. My costs are going to be very high. My cost per purchase are going to be high. My cost per lead are going to be high because I'm taking a photo that's a six or a video that's a six and I'm putting it to compete with a bunch of ads that are five or six or seven or eight, right? So you will always experience the same level of competition, massive competition, massive saturation, all that stuff. But... If you go into the fitness niche, which is very competitive and extremely profitable, and you take a photo or a video that's a 10 and you have an offer that's a 10. Now you will experience massive saturation here, but you're going to be here, right? You're going to be above all the other people. And this is going to bring you extremely, extremely low costs. So here's an example for the bodybuilding niche. Uh, we have a campaign that's generating leads, right? So we ask, for people for their email in exchange for a workout for a free workout and i tested a, a, an ad image that was consistently generating leads for four dollars each right so i was generating email addresses for four dollars each if i got 100 emails i would have to spend four hundred dollars right so then i duplicated that campaign and i tested another image which is my best image so far i've never had a a creative an image that produces as best results as this one and that image is with the same offer with the same funnel with the same everything is bringing in leads for 30 cents each in the US both of these campaigns were in the US so one campaign has one image the other campaign has another image but both of them have the exact same offer the exact same sales process the exact same sales funnel in the exact same niche to the exact same audience but one of them is crushing it and the other one is not. And the reason that's happening is because of the outstanding creative. 
So my message to all of you guys that are asking or you know being frustrated about high costs, about low results, it's like stop thinking that it's getting saturated. Stop thinking that it's very competitive. Stop thinking about what's the least competitive niche and start thinking more about where's where can I make the most money? What's the, the biggest niche where there's most opportunity? And how can I, instead of going and creating five out of 10 ads, five out of 10 offers, how can I create a 10 out of 10 offer and ad that completely destroys my competition? For instance, well, everyone in the fitness niche is saying, yeah, the cost per leads are, you know, $2 each, super expensive. I'm like, man, I'm in the fitness niche in the US bringing in leads for 30 cents because of my killer ad, right? So this is how the big marketers are seeing it. In fact, if you ask a big marketer, I can basically guarantee you this. If you go to a guy that spends millions of dollars on Facebook ads, on Instagram ads, and you ask them, are you worried about competition on Facebook? Are you worried about saturation? Their answer is gonna be in most cases, no, I'm not. I don't really care about competition. Because they, their mindset is not, is not uh, you know, their mindset is not made to compete with everyone that's coming in into Facebook ads. Their mindset is always, how can I crush my competition? How can I create a 10 out of 10 ad? How can I create an 11 out of 10 offer? How can I completely put myself above everyone else so that I don't experience the, not, not even a small fraction of competition, right? So that's the, that's the difference between, you know, C players and A players. A players want to dominate. A players want to get the best ad, the best offer, the most creative way of positioning a product in the marketplace. And C players are saying, what niche has the least competition? What product can I get good costs on? You know what? They're trying to, to, to get the easy route, right? But I can tell you one thing, like, what I suggest is that if you choose a niche, go, go for the competitive niches. Like I never really go into a niche that's not very competitive because I don't know, like for instance, I'm gonna tell you some niches that are, that are pretty profitable. The fitness niche, very competitive, massive opportunity. Weight loss niche, massive opportunity, very competitive as well. Skincare niche, um, a lot of opportunity, massively profitable, huge and broad niche, very, very competitive. The, the women's fashion niche, massive niche. Everyone, all women need to buy clothing. They're impulsive with their purchases, massive opportunity, massive competition. The internal marketing niche, very, very com uh, competitive, but lots of opportunity to make money. Uh, what's another one? Any kind of health offer that fixes a problem, those are gonna be competitive massive opportunity. So what you want to do is you want to get into these niches, the dog niche, massive niche, super passionate, lots of opportunity, very, very competitive, but who cares? If, because if you go with the mindset of I'm going to dominate, I'm going to find a 10 out of 10 ad, I'm going to find a 10 out of 10 product. And I'm not going to like, just go like, because if you go to a super competitive niche, like the dog niche or the fitness niche, and you just go and copy your competition, then you're putting yourself over here, you're never going to be above everyone else because you're copying your competition. So if your competition is here and you copy your competition, then your costs are going to be here, super high as everyone else. But if you go and find a super creative way of positioning your product or your campaign or your ad, your video, all these elements of the campaign and you get creative and you say, I'm going to stop competing, I'm going to start dominating. And you put your, yourself over here, your costs are going to be extremely low that we're experiencing. We're getting leads for e-commerce stores for uh, like 15 to 20 cents each in the USA. These are USA leads for fitness, 30 cents each. That's outstanding. I mean, it, like most fitness experts will struggle to get these costs. And this is because of the ad mainly, right? So that's my advice. Is Facebook getting saturated? Is it more competitive? Is it more expensive? The answers are yes, yes, and yes, but you don't have to be worrying about these things. You're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on, oh, it's too competitive. You need to focus on how can I dominate, right? And I, I know that sounds super cliche, but it's the only way to make it work. It's the, it's the only way 
to really make a lot of money is to start is like to to really start believing yourself that you can actually crush it and to think outside the box not a lot of people like to think outside the box they're always looking for product research softwares they're always looking for a way to copy their competition people are looking for easy strategies right what you got to do is, is literally say okay here's what everyone is doing everyone is doing this how can i take the concept of what works for them but put it in a completely different way position it in a different way different ad different product different image or video so that i can make three times the money as these guys i can get three uh, the cost can be three times lower than the other guys so that's how i think about these things because if not yes you're going to experience massive competition massive saturation it's going to be expensive for you to advertise so the only way you can figure this out is if you start testing start testing start running ads start making research and start like take a whiteboard I have a whiteboard here where I make re uh, put my thoughts and just start testing stuff, guys. That's basically my message for today. Hope you found value. And if you did, click on the link above or below to schedule a call with my team to see how we can help you further. Doesn't matter if you're starting out. Doesn't matter if you're more advanced. Sometimes you just need one idea. Sometimes you just need one extra strategy, one extra push to reach your goals. And um, we're giving that opportunity above or below in the link. Schedule a call, roicall.com, and speak to us. Let us know what you're struggling with, what business model you are working on, and then we'll see how we can help you out. We have a lot of different offers that we can make you depending on where you are. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next training. Bye-bye.